Yes, sir. We'll execute Brian Baker. Take two and hit to right. Over. Who are you talking to? Yankee Stadium? Mama! Papa! The Navy! Mama! Viens! Roger, out. Our drive has run out of gas. We have to sit and wait for supplies to catch up. You take it easy. I'm going back for company briefing. Sir, when they send up the supplies, you suppose they could send up some retreads? Second squad will handle security. Just relax while you can. Mama, Papa, venez vite! Evacuation ordered all along the line. What is it, Lieutenant? Did they refuse to leave? If the Germans stop running and set up a counterattack, this could be the next big battlefield, you know that. Cage. Yes, sir. Explain it's for their own good. Very well, sir. All right, Davis, let's go. Yes, sir. Madame, il faut que vous quittiez votre ferme. Vous ne pouvez pas rester. Ça va être un champ de bataille dans quelques instants. Euh, mais euh, mon mari et moi, nous restons ici au jardin. Euh, euh, nous sommes sauf ici. Si tout est bien ici. Vous ne pouvez pas rester. Il faut que vous partiez. C'est impossible. Oh non, non. C'est notre terre. Sarge, they want to stay. They think they're safe here. It's only natural, man. I want to be pushed off his land. Unnatural for a man to get blown off it. Cage, tell them they have to leave. It's for their own safety. Maybe they can come back in a couple of days. Écoutez, peut-être que c'est pour votre propre bien que vous devez partir. Dans trois ou deux jours, vous pourrez revenir en toute sécurité. Mais monsieur, nous sommes sauf ici. Dites quelque chose. Notre vache. Notre vache. Notre vache était tellement effrayée à cause des tanks que s'est enfuie dans la forêt. Nous devons attendre pour son retour. Hey, Sarge. Her cow was frightened off into the woods by the tank. She wants to stay over and find it. Maybe we can help him find her cow. He can't. Cage! Right now. Maintenant, il faut partir. Allez, maintenant. Oh, no, 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 monsieur, no. Oh, no, monsieur, ce n'est pas... Oh, no, monsieur, ce n'est pas... Oh, no, monsieur, ce n'est pas... Oh, no, Sarge, she wants to know who's going to finish the planting. If the garden is not in, how are they going to live? Who's going to run their farm? Move them out, Cage. Allez, mademoiselle, c'est prêt, allez. Oh, no. actually feel the life in it, Sarge. Don't get involved, Farmer. We're just passing through. And 
Vic Morrow. Guest star, Dennis Weaver. You need a half section of land just to break even. Here, that whole family five live over that postage stamp. They sure cared for the soil. You haven't been up here long. So? In that uniform, you fight and dirt, you sleep in it, and you eat it. But you don't hold it in your hand that way. Land is to be taken, passed over, and forgotten. Why don't you get out of the sun and sack out? We may not be here long. It's kind of bad making those old people leave, Sarge. We'll be better off in town. Will they? Well, now, just who's to say that they don't have the right to die here on their own land where their heart is? Or maybe you don't believe that about where the embattled farmers stood and fired the shot heard around the world? All right, farmer, you spread it, plant it, and watch it grow. When the time comes, be ready to leave it. That's the way it is. Right, right, Sarge. You said it yourself. We're just passing through. Sip, Kirby. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's like a little Noah Gull out there. The only farm we ever had was a window box about five stories up. <laughs> Trying to raise some radishes one year, and they so scroungy and little when they grew up, I didn't have the heart to eat any of them. What about you, Doc? Hmm? You ever have any farming aspirations? Oh, back in high school lab, I raised some pretty good mold in a pickle jar. You know, watching old Noah working out there in the hot sun sure makes my mouth dry. Hey, Sarge. Go and sit.
Where'd you get it? Oh, well, I found it in the cellar that was flushing in the last town. <laughs> well, I'm thrifty. Hey, all I got out of that last town was this. <laughs> Ain't that a beauty? The girl leans out of her balcony, throws that down to me, and I caught it in my teeth. Hey, Sarge, maybe I ought to go flush out her balcony, huh? Hey, flush this out, will you? Well, you know, it doesn't make sense. After two weeks chasing crowds, so he's in the sun on his feet, digging and digging. So it ain't me. After a week on foot, the guy can get all stiff. He doesn't limber up a little bit. a city boy. Just like to sit in front of the pool room, watch all those pretty girls go by. <laughs> Came back awful quick. Yeah, I guess we ought to go join them. I figure if I can get the crop in before we move on, all it has to do is rain, and later on that little Finch family comes home to harvest. All I need is time to get it in. Rush camp over town? Yeah, it's two once a prisoner. Well, ain't that nice? We use the farm as a patrol base. Leave one of the men in dock here to hold down the fort. I'll check the other squads and select defensive positions. Right, Lieutenant. Contact me as soon as you get back. Yes, sir. Let's go, Davis. We just heard the war's not over after all. Huh? Now we gotta go get ourselves a crowd prisoner. <laughs> you better trade in some of these shovels, hoes, and picks for some rifles, belts, and ammo. I don't get it. What's up? Go on with your digging, Noah. I'll go. Your feet all right, little John? Never better. Besides, I wouldn't know what to do with myself sitting around here without you guys. All right, little John, your feet's no good. You can't go. No, I was mostly gold breaking. Well, I'll go, little John. No, somebody has to plant the crops. I'll be fine, Sarge. Okay, let's settle up. What's the matter with Kirby? I offered to go. <laughs> 
Well, it's no skin off my nose. Big city boys puzzle me anyway. I gather you're from the farm, Noah. Yeah, you betcha. Whereabouts is it? It's in Iowa, near Sioux City. Waxley well, Farm is, is closer to Wilkins Corner, but uh, sounds a little bit better. People know what you mean if you say Sioux City. Yeah. yeah, what'd you raise? Hogs and corn. We got 640 acres. That's full, full section. 136th of a township. Place to just knock your eyes out. You wouldn't be just a little bit homesick, would you? No, not me. Not as long as I can get my hands in the dirt. Not as long as I can look around and see livestock, fields growing, things like that. Oh, I guess I was a little bit homesick coming over. I thought that France was just going to be a bunch of big cities like Paris, Marseille, fancy stuff, you know. Do you know, Doc, Earth's no different here than it is back home. A farm's a farm, anywhere in the world. As long as you're farming, you're happy. <laughs> you doggone betcha. You. <laughs> well, you've got to have one of them green thumbs. <laughs> Tell you something, they're a government issue in Iowa. <laughs> Maybe I went back to Munich for a beer bust. You knew you should have made the farmer come. His feet wasn't blistered. If he wanted to plant geraniums, he ought to join a garden club. You know better than that, Kirby. So does little John. If you want to volunteer, you volunteer. If you don't, you keep your mouth shut. I'll be all right. I'll keep up.
tears it. Farmer was okay, he could have kept up. Might as well have shot Lou down himself. Where's the plowboy? He could have kept up. Where is he? I don't know. He finished the planting. How about it, Doc? Well, he's lost a lot of blood. More crowds! Hey, I found her, the farmer's cow. Now we got ourselves a milkmaid. You nearly got yourself shot! That's why she went into the woods. She thought she'd be safer there. Cut the cow talk. Little John's in here bleeding to death while you're out there chasing those cows. Fell behind, got picked off. You could have kept up with us. How's he doing, John? Well, he'll make it, but we better get him back to Battalion A pretty quick. You can take him back with Lieutenant Hanley. He's coming here to pick up his prison. Anything I can do, Doc? You already did it. Sorry you got hurt, little John. So am I. You think it was my fault, like Kirby said? I mean, uh, your feet hurting so that, so that you couldn't keep up? I mean, you think... John's fine. 
I think that hole in his shoulder will heal before his blisters. Hey, hey. how about that big ape? You sure little John's going to be OK? I'm sure. Saunders, prepare to pull back immediately. Yes, sir, what's up? S2 learned from your prisoner the Germans are mounting a general attack. That means they'll be sending out patrols of their own. Right, to learn our position and strength. We're going to leave the farm, Lieutenant? This will be one of the first places to search, soldier. All right, pull back to the hedgerow and dig in. And mark this. No contact with the enemy until we're ready for them. Yes, sir. All right, you heard the man. All right, Davis, let's go. Come on, soldier, snap it up. <laughs> Right! I'll just leave the door open. Yeah, so that if she runs out of hay, she can eat grass. If she doesn't feed that cat, it'll die. Come on, let's go. Right! some sulfur for you. You got any halazone tablets? Huh? That's the stuff you put in your canteen. Oh, yeah, I got, got plenty. You hear that calf bone? I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, you know, calves ball, cows moo, and birds chirp. Hey, don't forget to put that in your kit. Hey, got some sulfur. Thanks, Carl. Thanks. Okay. You get anything? Just hash. Roger. Out. You can relax a while. Pass the word along. Hey, it'd be a pleasure. Wait a minute. Where's Noah? Well, he was there a minute ago. You know, he was worried about that calf. He wants that to blow this whole operation. While he's asking to get himself killed. What do we do, Sarge? Get him back before he gives up position away. Let's go, Cody.
Kirk, you seem to be down when I hit him. Yeah, but I don't know how bad he was hurt. It was stupid. Hey, man. All right, it was stupid. Okay. That calf would have died. You, you, you guys fight your war. I'll fight mine. You seem to be pretty good at killing. You fight our war. If that crock gets back, our whole line could be ripped wide open. Maybe he won't get back. <laughs> Maybe that German didn't get back. I, I think he was hit pretty bad. That's time you started thinking we had to go looking for you. That calf would have died. Men died too. Take a look down that line. Don't you think they want to get back alive? Doc, Cage, Kirby, everyone has something they want to get back to. Well, who's arguing that? I am. Because you're taking time off from this water to be a farmer. What makes you so special? I didn't say that it was. You finished? Sit down. You fight? Yeah, I can fight. Can you take orders? Yeah, I can take orders. Surprise!
Roger, out! <laughs> Wallace! Wait! Johnson versus him! No more artillery! Lieutenant says the crowds are moving down. We're gonna meet him and punch through, take the sector beyond the farmhouse! Cage, Kirby! Wait, flank! Hey! Move out! Me. I can keep an eye on you. Cover when you should advance, when you shouldn't do as I say. Yeah. We'll never get past him this way, Sarge. Checkmate, King 2. This is why we're over. Checkmate, King 2. This is why we're over. King 2, over. Stop call by machine gun nest. Request bazooka team. We're at checkpoint tear. Over. Bazooka team knocked out. Heavy resistance here. You'll have to break through yourself. Good luck, out. Yeah, good luck. No help. We have to knock out our nest ourselves. Well, maybe I can circle them around this way. Well, you'll need cover. Yeah. Hey, Cage, come on. Wait a minute. I can handle it. Sorry, I can handle it. All right, Noah. What? I draw him, huh? Oh, get off my back, will you? Knock it off, Kirby. Go on, move out. What a war. Come on. <laughs> So far, so good. I could pop him with a grenade. Can you cover me? I can cover you. Okay. Sarge was right. Let's stay down.
上都别出For different reasons, Sarge. I guess it. My war is over. You go fight yours. the man said, by the rude bridge that arched the flood. What's that, Doc? It's a poem, Kirby. By some farmers, a long time ago. Their flag in April's breeze unfurled, the embattled farmer stood. And fired the shot heard around the world. <laughs> 